What's up everybody, Dan from the Headwaters. And uh, this is Cameron, he's my warehouse manager slash guide slash, you do everything. Pretty much, yeah. You can run this place without me. Anyway, he's gonna help me set up a feel free flash today. This is brand new. So we're gonna show you guys how to set it up and then I'm gonna take it over to Lodi Lake and jump in the water, give it a test drive and see how it does. So this is how your feel free would come if you bought it wrapped with a layer of cellophane, foam. You see the seat is not set up. We're gonna have to put on the backrest there and then put the drive together and install the rudder. Well, that should only take us about 10, 15 minutes here. Cameron just called me out and said it'd be longer. Oh, we're gonna time it. What's, what time do you got right now? Check your phone. 12, 19. 12, 19, no, 2, 19. Buddy. 2, 19. Day's getting away there from you. There we go. <laughs> Comes with some basic instructions here. Note, for additional seat room, adjust the positions on the bracket to best suit it for you. So you got three different positions here. So if you're smaller, you can have yourself closer to the front of the seat. If you've got a bigger, you can put it all the way here in the back, give yourself a little more room. I think, uh, why don't we just put it in the middle? Yeah, average. Back here, we got the rudder. This thing just pins in. It's already all pre-plumbed, so all I have to do is connect these two bolts and then uh, I'll adjust the cable tension. Okay, the last step is dropping in the drive. Let's check the time. We are at 2.35. 2.35, so 15, 16 minutes. 16 minutes. So 15 minutes from fully packaged to ready to get on the water. You guys have seen a walk through this thing, but you know, basically flat bow, storage area, pedal drive. They use the rapid drive, which is the same as the Seastream Angler, which is proven to be very robust, smooth drive, adjustable seat. And they do a little different seat than the Moken, just the way it has to slide, but similar frame, similar materials. It, you see all the different adjustment points here and it's held down by a simple cam strap that holds the seat in place. This is your steering system that makes the boat go left and right, it's right here. In the back tank well, you got a big open tank well, two flush mount rod holders. Just kind of a simple recreational kayak with a few fishing features. Uh, tracks up here as well for adding accessories to. Anyways, you don't need to hear me talk about it. Let's go take this thing to the water and see how it does. One thing I like about the flash is how easy it is to handle. Like it's pretty dang easy to handle solo. I would not be doing that with a big fish or an angler 120. Uh, but because it's more on the recreational side of things, definitely a little smaller, a little more compact, a little lighter. So I know I just added Seth to the channel, but I got one more member to the channel I gotta introduce you to. Say hello to Luna. Like always, one of my favorite thing about the feel freeze is the wheel and the keel. So if you're on concrete, you can just pick up the front handle roll that thing down to the water. So it took us a second to get off the dock because she was a little nervous about it all, but now she's cruising. She likes it when she's out here. It's just all the noise of the wheel on the concrete and all the new things. This is my first time back out here in so long. It feels incredible to be back on the river. That's where I've shot so many reviews. Just a lot of history here for me. Give you guys a little bird's eye view of what it looks like in the boat. Pretty roomy, you know, I'm 6'2", 210 pounds. Proud to say I lost 10 pounds since the last on water review video over winter time. Trying to uh, lose some of that pandemic weight. I think we all got, I got up to 230 last year i think it was november was my heaviest so happy to be down a few pounds but still even with the dog in here got plenty of flotation it's a little low in the water but not too too bad it is more of a recreational oriented kayak so it's not like it's not meant to be like a big fish or like a sea stream angler that has tons of volume a little smaller more compact probably more for recreational use but still plenty of room if i wanted to put a crate with a couple rod behind me uh, track if I wanted to add a fish finder to this I could but it's geared towards light fishing it's definitely not meant to be a big full-on fishing kayak now with that said if I was a small guy if I was 135 145 pounds you could make this a pretty cool tournament rig and it would probably feel a lot faster than maybe a bigger heavier more cumbersome boat for you one thing I'll say about this rudder is when I first saw it on the Seastream Angler I thought it was pretty chintzy 
because this little blue knob feels a little plasticky and janky. But what I found is that I actually do most of my steering just right here like this. And I hardly ever am reaching forward to here, but it feels plenty robust. I haven't had any issues with it at all. Got the beaver tail rudder, so the engagement's the same. And uh, we've had good luck with it so far. So I picked up the pace here to see how it goes. See, it starts doing a little bit of a bow wake. But it's moving along all right. Again, it's a little narrower than most of the Feel Free, Three Waters Kayak, Sea Stream, all those boats that are kind of in the same DNA. This one is the smallest, sleekest one of the bunch. So as expected, it's gonna feel a little more efficient. Being short, like at 11 foot and some change, it has pretty good maneuverability. When I flip the lever over, it wants to spin in a nice tight circle. One thing I do notice with the boat being a little narrower, when I flip this steering all the way, and you can feel the boat move side to side, especially with the dog in my lap. Um, so it's not as stable as a Sea Stream Angler or Big Fish 103. But again, it's not meant to be. Not everyone needs that stability. Uh, so it's just good to know kind of who it's right for. It's right for somebody if you're a smaller person. It's right for you if you want something that's a little light and fast, throw and go. You just know that it's going to be a little bit um, more tender on that primary stability. Moon is checking out the bird. You want to eat it, huh? That looks like some delicious meat. Some delicious bird meat? Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to give this thing a stand up test. I got the dog out for a minute and I'm in super shallow water. Tom's helping me film a little bit. I just happened to bump into Tom out here. How cool is Yo, that? What up? He was out doing a Lodi Paddle Club deal. They do a Wednesday. All right, you, you give them the pitch. If somebody's in Lodi and they want to come hang with you guys on Wednesday, what's the deal? Uh, Wednesday evening paddle. Normally it's like uh, starting April, it would be at 5 p.m. But until then, right now, it's, we're on the water at 1, a, uh, 1 p.m. And uh, there's any more, anywhere between like 5 and 12 people today. We go up a couple miles, we hang out, maybe we have a snack and, and chat a little bit, and then we head back. So if you guys are in the area and you want to paddle Wednesday nights, I think we'll just say 5, because by the time this video comes out, I think you guys will move yeah, to 5, 5 yeah. p.m. All right, well, cool, man. Thanks for hanging. Anyway, so I'm in the boat now, standing up, and I'm no small guy, you know? It definitely feels like, let's see, I need to get a wider angle. All right, now you can probably see a little better. So me without the dog, it feels way more stable. It definitely feels like it can rock back and forth. It has a pretty solid secondary. Oh, Luna thinks I'm leaving. Um, easy to stand in. I could definitely stand and cast, not think about it, stand and film, look at the camera, and not have to be focused on my stability. Again, this is gonna be easier for somebody 200 and under, 200 and over. You're probably gonna want something with a little bit more girth or you're gonna just be sitting down more. Practical for recreational use or fishing. Oh, Luna wants back in the boat. Come on, girl. Well, let's see how this goes. Come on. Oh. oh, nice, thank you. Extra 40 pounds on board, no big deal. <laughs> you're a good dog, Looney. You're a good, good dog. Try to attempt to move my feet forward one notch and see how that goes. Again, everything made a little bit more tricky with the dog. But even so, I'm not really so much worried about falling in. I'm more thinking like she might jump out, but no, she did fine. I like how simple the seat is to adjust. It just clicks into a notch and you got a little ratchet strap. You just snug that up. So that's it for today. Got myself a little sun, had a good time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and checking this boat out. Hopefully you found this review helpful. If nothing else, hopefully you had a good time hanging out with us. Until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one. You wanna say bye, Luna? Say bye. Bye.